Hunter Claire and Justin Lopez experienced the force of a lithium ion battery fire firsthand. The Peoria, Arizona fire captains were responding to a call at an energy storage facility tied to the power grid. Just as they went in to check the building, it ignited, right? It blew up. I don't remember the explosion, don't remember anything from there. Both suffered brain trauma, multiple broken bones, and burns. The cause of this fire is a lithium ion battery. These fires are becoming more common. In New York City, lithium ion battery failure sparked more than 200 fires last year, injuring 147 people and killing six. This high rise blaze started in an apartment containing five e bikes. We saw what happens when a lithium ion battery is purposely overcharged and fails, starting a fire. We're actually inside of a home built to burn. We study how fire grows and spreads, and we purposely instrument it so we can figure out how to keep people safe for emerging technologies like this. Kerber's team outfitted this 1600 square foot house with everything you'd find in the typical home and rigged it with heat and gas sensors. It's going to release a lot of gas, and we're going to see an explosion. How quickly will it destroy a house like this? Yeah, some of the other tests we've run, we've seen from first sign of smoke until windows being blown out in 15 seconds or less. Researchers forced the battery to fail by removing its safety features, then overcharging it for more than two hours. First, it smokes. 17 seconds later, windows buckle. Inside, the living area engulfed after 12 minutes. These same batteries power electric vehicles. They're also used in home energy storage systems to store solar energy. The battery industry said in a statement, failures are rare and the technology continues to be a safe and cost-effective way to provide reliable, clean energy to consumers. And they are collaborating with emergency response governmental agencies to increase awareness. Experts say only buy batteries from a reputable source and make sure they're certified by a lab like UL or Intertech. Don't leave them charging unattended or let them overcharge. Firefighters Claire and Lopez are grateful to be alive. They're now urging lawmakers and the battery industry to fund training and resources to respond to these fires. Vicki Wynn, NBC News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.